Hello guys, welcome to the Innovation Lab. So guys, I just wanted to make a quick video to test this uh, power booster for our DC to DC boost converters. So I know that a lot of us kind of have the need to get more power out of the uh, boost converters that we can find online. And I've been working on this for quite a while now. I started working on this last year and we have had the first uh, version of the power booster board. And this is kind of the second version of that board and we're gonna be testing it in this video. And hopefully if the converter performs well, my plan is to make a follow on video to show you guys step by step of the circuit and everything I've done. All right, my friends, let's get started. All right, guys, before we get started, I'd like to give a big shout out to Deep Trace for giving us a license upgrade that we needed to be able to take this design from a two layer board to a four layer board. The original board was a two layer board and because of that, there was a lot of limitation on that design and things I couldn't do. So when I reached out to Deep Trace, they offered me a free upgrade to be able to design up to six layer boards and I think that's amazing. So for some of you guys, if you're looking into doing PCB designs, Make sure you check out the uh, deep trace software. You can do schematic capturing and in the end you can design your own PCBs. And actually what I love mostly about deep trace is that in the end you should be able to export your design in 3D and you'll be able to exactly view how the board is going to look like when you actually fab the board and build the board. All right guys, now let's jump into the testing. So let's take a closer look at the uh, setup here to kind of show you guys exactly what I did on a higher level. As I said in the future video, I'll go in depth to uh, explain everything uh, to you guys. So what I've done essentially is to, um, you can kind of see this setup as this guy here being the muscle, while this guy here being the brain, right? So what I've done is to essentially uh, steal the uh, PWM signal, the voltage feedback loop, the current feedback loop, um, the overcurrent protection, the under voltage protection, everything is still on this board here. And as you guys can see, I found a way to kind of uh, tether all that signal onto the uh, booster board. So that way we're gonna still be using all those signals from this board to control what's happening here. So we're gonna get our voltage regulation and output current regulation, all of that is still gonna be in there. But the goal is to be able to use this board now. So this is essentially two DC to DC boost converters all in one board controlled by the uh, what I call the brain here, which is this board down here. That's essentially is what we have done here in a nutshell. All right, so let's go ahead and start the testing. All right, guys, for the testing, the plan is to really keep it simple. So we're going to be conducting two major tests here. So the first test is going to be the uh, output voltage adjustment test. So being a DC to DC boost converter, the goal is to take in a lower voltage and we drive it to a higher voltage. So let's see how high we can go with that uh, function. And the second test we're going to do is a load test. So essentially, we're going to apply a load here at the output and we slowly raise the output voltage and we see how much power we're going to get out of this system essentially using a 24 volt lithium ion phosphate battery system as our power source. All right, so for the output voltage adjustment test, so all we have to do now is to slowly increase the uh, output voltage potentiometer here and then we keep an eye on the DMM to see what's going to happen. All right, so as you guys can see here, we got to 90.9 uh, .9 volts, which is quite impressive, with an input voltage of 26.46 volts. And also, as you guys can see, we are getting very clean PWM drive here. All right, let's go ahead and take a closer look. Yeah, amazing. I'm quite impressed with the performance of this system. 
but um, this is with no load so let's see how this is going to be how clean of a drive we're going to get as we start applying the load on the system all right so for the load testing before we go ahead and put on the heavy loads on the system so i wanted to use a smaller load and at a lower voltage then we go ahead and enable the pwm control and by just uh, turning on this switch here and after that we're just going to slowly raise that output voltage to see how high we can go with this all right guys so we we're able to get to almost 85 volts so uh, to take a, a broader look at the system so we are seeing an input current draw of 8.6 amps and an output uh, current delivered to the load of um, 3.29 amps, almost 3.3 amps. So this essentially shows us that the system is working and now the question is how is it going to perform under heavy load? All right, so let's go ahead and connect the fan and then we bring in these uh, uh, loads here. So the load here is nothing but two 1000 watt 48 volts uh, resistive water heaters. So I'm gonna use it to see exactly how much power can we get out of this system. All right guys, so we have connected our fan, but we're gonna start the test without the fan. So we see how hot the unit is gonna get as we apply load. And um, if it gets too hot, then we apply the fan. All right, so let's go ahead and bring in the load. All right, so we'll go ahead and bring in the PWM. So we're starting at an input voltage of 27.4 volts and the load is right now drawing 5.72 amps. All right, so let's go ahead and bump up the voltage. Yeah, so this is the scary part, guys. Well, it looks like for some reason it's not exceeding 38.8 volts with an input voltage of 26.2 volts. Um, I'm gonna have to look into this, maybe check the uh, output current adjustment to see what's going on. All right, guys, I think the, uh, the issue was that the output current adjustment was not set at the maximum point, and I have just done that. So let's go ahead and increase the output voltage some more. Actually, as you guys can see, we are now at 46.1 volts. So, and the system is delivering uh, greater than 300 watts to the load. All right, so uh, my overall goal is to at least exceed a thousand watts on this system all right so we're back on track so we are now at 48.6 volts and we are now at 53.6 volts All right, so it looks like something happened there and the overcurrent uh, protection on the battery system tripped. So that cannot be good. Um, we may need to do some more work on this. All right, guys, as you guys have seen in the video, I think we can honestly say that this test was a failure, but failure is not always a bad thing. So uh, that's how we learn, that's how we evolve. That's actually part of the design process. So a lot of things that we use today, you have to try many times, you fail and you learn something from it, then until you make it work. 
All right, guys. So if you guys would like to see uh, all the progress I'm going to be making, I can promise you guys I'm not going to give up. I'll keep trying because I have a lot of fun doing it. Uh, also, I am working on some other ideas in the background. So I am working on a way to build an affordable uh, battery charger for you guys, a universal battery charger that can charge all kinds of batteries without breaking the bank. And yeah, so my goal is to make that a product for 2025. So I'm gonna be going hard on that until we make it work. And I am also working on the uh, boost converter repair video that you guys have requested. So I did not forget. It's just that for something like that, uh, I wanna make sure that I cover all the bases. I wanna do a ton of research to make sure that the information I provide you guys uh, about the components is all going to be good and valid. So it might take a little bit longer to get it all done. Yeah, so if you guys would like to see all of this, test like this, so we don't do clickbait here. Everything that we do, we have to keep it 100% honest. If we fail, we fail. If we succeed, we tell you guys we have succeeded. All right, guys, to see more of this, don't forget to subscribe to the Innovation Lab. All right, my friends, I'll see you guys in the next video.